Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Lizzie, and for today's video, we are talking about Nicole. This is a film that is available to watch on Amazon Prime. I don't believe that it's an Amazon Prime exclusive. It didn't appear to be, but it is a film that is available to watch on there if you do already have an account. That is where I watched it, and this film is very interesting to say the least. It is I believe it's filmed in color, edited into being in black and white. It doesn't have that kind of gray filter that old black and white films do. The black and white of it is really individual and color does appear at times in the film. So I do believe that it was probably originally filmed in color and then the parts that they needed to were edited into a black and white. And this film follows a young woman by the name of Nicole who is going on a first date with a gentleman that she met online. The film starts out generally following Nicole throughout her day, her interactions with the other men in her life and her co-workers. One gentleman who you can tell has a bit of a crush who's trying to ask her out and she tells him, you know, like, not tonight, I I have a date already. So we do eventually meet the gentleman that she's going on a date with, and we find out before the date that he is a serial rapist. We meet a young woman who wakes up in his apartment, hungover, you know, she doesn't know where she is, she doesn't know what happened the night before. He tells her, oh, we met at the bar last night, you got really drunk, so I brought you back to my place to be safe, and we slept together and had fun. You know, situation that unfortunately happens far too often in a speech that rape is far too often used. So we already know right away that this guy is just a piece of shit. And of course Nicole doesn't know that yet and she goes out on this date with him. Now Nicole herself there's definitely something off about her. You can kind of tell but you're not really sure what's going on with her. I kind of thought that this film was gonna take a bit of a promising young woman type direction that it's gonna be her plotting out revenge on this guy as if she maybe kind of already knows the situation, but it didn't really take that path. So Nicole and this gentleman do end up going back to her place. He kind of, they have quite, they both have quite a few drinks while they're out. He kind of forcibly invites himself back to her place after she's kind of trying to end the date. They eat, she tells him, you know, you have to go, you have to leave. I'm not sleeping with you tonight and he, freaks out and attempts to force himself upon her, which at that point she ends up killing him. And this is where the film gets even weirder. She is trying to dismember his body and he keeps talking to her. He's obviously not still alive because at this point she's chopped off body parts and she had stabbed him several times. So you know he's dead, but Nicole seems to be hallucinating the situation, which then leads us to even more weird events throughout the film. So after all of these events happen and it's the next day and Nicole is just going about her life, everything turns into color again. And it's really interesting. And at first I was like, oh, I kind of love this because not to completely give away everything in the film, but we do find out some things about Nicole and about her life and past and like situation prior to this date. And it kind of had this feeling of almost like she was taking back her life. Like she killed this rapist, woohoo! Now her, she's kind of let go of this grief and she can move on with her life. But the film ends very, very strangely where people, I'll just say people who we know for a fact are dead, show up and Nicole is there with them and she's just having dinner with this gentleman that she just killed who is dead and these other people and 
I was just left with like a what the fuck like like what what is going on in this film and that's really is how it ends and I I'm confused I have no clue this movie was so strange it just left me completely baffled but I liked it. I, and you guys know that I generally like a film to have an ending cliffhanger send to bother me, which I get it, that's the point of being there. So for this one, but for this one, I really liked it. I liked the fact that I was so confused throughout this film. There were just so many parts that were so weird. And again, you know something's up with Nicole, but you're not really sure. And I was just, thrown off and the movie ended and I was like, that's it? Like what? How is all this happening? What is going on? It just completely threw me and I loved it and I thought it was great. So if you have not seen this, I know it spoiled quite a bit, but I did warn you in the title that this was going to be a spoiler review. So if you haven't seen the film and you do still want to, Definitely check it out. I do really, really suggest it, especially if you're into like weird artsy films, because this one definitely is that. So if you have happened to see Nicole, let me know what your thoughts are on it in the comments below. If you did enjoy this review, please do give it a big old thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more horror related content. And before I go, a quick shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for helping to contribute to the channel. If you want to know the perks to being a Patreon, links are in the description below, along with all of my social media. And I'll see you guys again later with another video. Bye!